All right, I'm going to show you how to create interfaces. So I have this Visual Studio 2019. I'm going to create a new project, and this one is going to be a Windows Form App. So you can search for that Windows Form App up here, or you can just, I have it saved right here, and I'm using the .NET framework. I'm going to call my app Greetings. I'll go ahead and create that. Once I have my app up, I want to make sure I have my toolbox available. So you can go to view, if you don't have it, and you can put your toolbox in here like this. And so I want to create a couple buttons. So I'll drag in some buttons. And maybe I'll make it look pretty at some point in the near future. But let's create a couple buttons so we can test some things out. So I'll drag all these buttons over to this side. I'll go down here and shrink my app a little bit so it fits into the screen. All right. So my first button I'm going to have be my greet button, and then my other three buttons are going to change languages. So I'll go to the first button, and on this properties menu, I will change the text of the button and the name of the button. So I go first, change the name. The name of the button, I'm going to call it btn greet for button greet and then I'll go down and I will change the text to be greet all right then I go to the next button and I can change the text right here I'll change this one to English and I will change the name of the button so btn English go to the next one change this one to BTN let's go with uh, Spanish and down here change the text so it says Spanish and the last one let's go ahead and go with maybe Japanese and change the button name to be BTN Japanese. All right, so now I have four buttons and this form. I can change my form uh, name as well if I want, or I can change it, um, change the text of the form. So let's go ahead and change that. So I'll just call this greetings. All right, now at this point, I have this all created, and I want to make interfaces and classes. So I go up here to my greetings project, and I add a new item. So add a new item. I can just do Control Shift A, Control Shift A. There we go. And I want to add an interface. And this one I'm going to call my I for interface Lang, I Lang. Add that. And then my I Lang interface, it's part of the greetings namespace. Um, I want to, I think I can make this public. And this I'm going to get public uh, string greet it does not like public so I'll take that out so I got this uh, string greet and this is my interface next I want to create three classes that are based on this ilang interface so I got English Spanish and Japanese so I'll go over here and I will control shift a and I'll add a class now I'll call this one English Add that one I do control shift a I will add Spanish and control shift a and I had Japanese all right so each one of these I want to inherit from the ilang 
interface. So I'll just do a colon and then I lang right there and make this a public class. Now you can see it's underlined right now. And the reason is because it's not implementing all of the methods in the ilang interface. So I'll go down to show potential fixes and I can implement the interface and it'll just create this greet thing right here. And all this thing does is returns a string with that language as greeting. So I can just do return konnichiwa. konnichiwa. All right, and then this one is done. I'll go back and do that with the other ones as well. So I go to Spanish, make it a public class, and make it so it inherits from the I lang. And then I want to show potential fixes and I can implement the interface, which creates this method here. And I can just return Hola. Then I do the same thing with English. Where is it? Right here. English, once again, make it a public class that influence the iLang interface. And I want to implement the interface and just return. Turn. Hello. So then all these now have been implemented. You can do much more complex things than this, but I just want to show you how the interfaces work. So now that these are all taken care of, the question is where do we use this or how do we use this? So I'll go ahead and save everything and then I will jump over to my design and I have this greet and then English, Spanish, and Japanese. What I want to do is take the English, Spanish, and Japanese buttons and make them change an object I have stored in memory in the background. And then the greet will use whatever object is stored in the background and then use methods from it. So I go ahead and I can right click on this and I can view my code for the form one. In it, I have this class and I want to create a private um, I lang uh, object called language and maybe in the initialization I want to set it to something so I'll do language equals a new let's start with uh, English so by default it will use a new English it'll use an English as the default however every time I click a button I want to be able to change what language is being used and I want it to be able to call the language. So I'll go back to my form design. I'll double click on my greet and it'll create a method right here that whenever the greet button is pressed, it does something. So what does it do? I want it to do a message box. Message box dot show. And I want to have whatever my language dot greet displayed. So save that. All right, now how do I change the language? Well, I'll go back to my design again and double click on English. And in this case, whenever I click on the English one, I want my language to be set to a new English. So just like what I did with the initialization. So I can set it back to English. Go back to my design. Double click on Spanish and I can have language equals a new Spanish. Now you remember English and Spanish are different class objects. So they're different classes, but they both implement the ilang interface. And so you can treat this language as an ilang, which then is either in English, a Spanish or a Japanese. Then I go back here and double click on the Japanese and my language gets set to a new Japanese. 
and I can save that. All right, at this point, I am ready to test my application. Just save everything up and build it and go. All right, first I'm going to test the greet button. It says, hello. I click English. Didn't crash. I press greet. It says, hello. Press Spanish. Press the greet. It says, hola. I press Japanese. And then I press greet. And it says, konnichiwa. Go back to English. Greet. And then back to hello. So you can see how this thing works. It's pretty simple. It's just treating each each one of those objects as an iLang and then it runs the greet method to grab the information and then pass it to the message box. And that's how you can do interfaces.